Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I am so very excited to be with you today. And my dear, dear friend, business buddy, soul sister, Karina Lede. I'm Laura Waldman, the Abundance Activator, author of Money Manifestation Mastery. And today we're having a conversation with Karina about stepping into the next level of your business. And we're gonna be sharing our top tips on how we do that, giving you a little sneak peek behind the scenes in our own businesses, hoping that will inspire you, give you some helpful hints of how to keep going, how to keep going and keep growing in a soul aligned way. So welcome darling Karina. Um, I'd love to, you to take a minute just to introduce yourself and, and let us know a bit about you and what you do. Thank you so much, Laura. I'm so grateful to be here and I love our chats because this is really the stuff that we talk about when we have our own private chats and we wanted to share this conversation with everyone who's gonna watch this live or record it as well. So thank you so much, beautiful, for inviting me. Uh, my name is Karina Lede. I'm a business mentor for intuitive and creative female entrepreneurs. And basically I help them to fully embody the next level in their soulful businesses. And that next level doesn't only involve impact, money, reach, but also next level joy, freedom, ease, and all the good stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's basically what I do. So I, I lead uh, programs and um, online and offline, and I do private mentoring as well for my, um, tiny village in the south of France. Oh, gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, you live in the most beautiful part of the world um, yeah. and you do such beautiful work. Thank you so much. And uh, such important work that you do. So let's dive in and go straight in because, you know, when we uh, are seeing someone maybe online or in their work and we're looking at people like, oh my goodness, they are so successful. How did they do it? Uh, we know, right? There's a whole, whole lot going on behind the scenes that isn't always visible. And we wanted to kind of come in and share a bit openly, honestly, vulnerably, but also like, what do you do? What do you do to keep going and growing in, you know, your soul led business? How do you step into that next level? So would you mind sharing with us some of your top tips of what do you do to step into the next level of your business, Karina? Yeah, I'd love to share. Yeah, it's so funny because we always look at like it looks so easier from the outside, right? And it must be so much easier for someone else who doesn't have all the stuff that we have to handle. Um, always happy to share what's really going on also behind the scenes. And I feel like it's important to mention that this is like an ongoing journey. It's not like you take a leap into the next level and there you are forever. It's more like a <laughs> constant and regular choice that we make almost like moment by moment, even if there can be like big leaps in between, it's like a constant thing I feel. And it's probably never gonna end, right? Cause there's always gonna be another level of whatever we're experiencing now. Um, for me actually so interesting because I feel like when we talk about next level, we usually mean stepping into the things that we want and stepping into what we want to experience and we want what we want our lives and businesses to be like. But for me at least, and what I've noticed in a lot of my clients is that the first step is letting go, right? Letting go of all the stuff that is gonna make space for the new things or people or opportunities that, we're, that we, des we desire. So for me, that has been like the number one and the hardest because it means letting go of the stuff that doesn't quite fit anymore. And it just means that it doesn't fit anymore. It doesn't mean it was all wrong or we shouldn't have. It's more like we've outgrown things. And that can be things like habits, um, how we run our business, how we take care of ourselves or don't take care of ourselves, uh, people we hang out with spaces where we hang out that just aren't a right fit anymore. So for me, this is like the grieving process of having to say no and letting go of stuff that I may like on a, on a, like a personal emotional level, but I know also is holding me back from actually stepping into something greater. So having the courage to let go and, um, and release everything basically that's not aligned with this new level has been like 
the number one and the hardest thing for me, for sure. Oh my God. I'm yes. It sounds so easy. <laughs> just let go. Just, just release. But okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's not easy. How do you help yourself let go to surrender? Is there anything you do specifically? Or is it like a moment to moment, just choice that you make? Well, I guess for me, it's like two, two parts. One is to connect in with what it is that I desire. And then to like energetically and emotionally let go of everything that doesn't align with that. So it's that's more like an inner thing, you know, where I feel like I'm clinging on and I have to like go in and let go. And I feel myself release it. And then it's also on a very practical level, like saying no to things that aren't a good fit um, to stop hanging out with people I feel are like draining my energy. Um, so it's also like, um, yeah, saying no and to stop doing certain things. So both practical, I guess, and physical and also emotional and energetic. And I think also it's like a, that can be a journey too, right? Because sometimes all we have to do is tune in, let go, and that's it. And sometimes it's going to be like a long process of, because from the, we're not necessarily ready to let go the moment we know that it's time, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's unhooking ourselves from sometimes lifelong uh, patterns, right? Yes. That's really important what you said, I think, because sometimes we want to rush it. We're like, oh, I've got to get rid of this. So, and actually... Yeah. Things, it is a grieving process it is a transition and sometimes that takes time and that's i think important and that's not comfortable is it our human self is like does not enjoy that process no i would love for it to be like super quick <laughs> i guess it can be kind of some things but yes. you know it's how we grip isn't it it's how we cling on that bit that's like desperately try to hold on it's like peel the fingers off yeah. the edge. <laughs> easier said than done it's super important well that's really really great so like do you have a way of gauging what you need to let go of like how, how do you get a sense of what is you know like because I think there can be a lot of confusion can't there be sometimes or conflict we go into with that transition like is there any way that you like how do you get clear on what's no longer aligned and 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 what what is in terms of moving forward um, usually I feel in my body, you know, like when you're, I, when I find myself being in a conversation or in a space online or offline or doing certain things in my business where I like my body just goes, no, yeah. or it has this like sinking feeling of I'm not supposed to be here or I'm not supposed to be doing this or like this doesn't feel good. And that can go from like subtle to like what the heck are you doing here again? <laughs> you know, <laughs> depending yeah. on how much I listened before. Yeah. So I feel like it's actually a lot in my body. I mean, mm -hmm. it can be while I'm meditating as well, but I feel like I definitely get that sinking feeling in my body or the heaviness or, you know, how some things are really complicated and when it's right for you, it's, it can be really smooth and it feels effortless and things come to you with ease. I think for me, those are like the two opposites, I guess. Um, and so when I go back into something that doesn't feel right, I'm like, oh, I know this is not how I want to be doing things. Mm -hmm. And often we get like, I mean, it's not like this happens once and then we let go. It's more like it, we do it a, quite a few times, sometimes a year is right before mm -hmm. going, oh, actually, I have to let go of this because this is taking up so much of my energy or my time. And I need to step into something new that we'd also don't really know what it looks like because we've never been in that new level, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. What happens when we're stepping into the unknown? So, so you, okay. So you've got sort of clarity and you've worked with the releasing and letting go and you're starting to navigate through that. How, what do you do to like hold that space as you're navigating into the unknown of your next level. Like some, some bit of you is, knows it's right. You get the guidance or the knowing, how do you move into that next level? What do you do to help yourself? Welcome back. Yeah. Great question. Well, I guess that's like the push pull thing, isn't it? Like letting go of things and then stepping into the new and it can feel a bit like going back and forth a bit. Um, the number one thing I do is I really try to tap into the vibration of the next level. 
because I try to imagine it with my mind, but honestly, I don't really know what that looks or feels like because I've never experienced quite that version of it yet. Yes. So it's kind of like imagining something you've never actually felt. So it helps me a lot to really step into the vibration of it to like either I connect with my future self who's living this already, where I really imagine the vision that I have for myself and my business. And I, I like I go into it and explore it. And I feel like when I fill up with that energy, it it starts to fill me up from the inside. And then I start acting differently and mm -hmm. I start attracting different things. Um, and I feel like it's really, really helpful to have the right support. I mean, we've talked about this before, like having the right mentor, the right group of people, because sometimes we don't have that in our current reality because maybe we've outgrown our business groups or they just don't fit anymore um, or we don't have people like that in our lives. Mm -hmm. So having being part of a program or a circle or, you know, new friends or a mentor or something so that we start experiencing more of it in our reality, but definitely vibration first. And then I feel like it goes into the physical, practical things like doing certain things or changing my habits or, you know, calling in more support in my business or taking very, better care of my body, uh, all those things. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Do you have anything else you'd like to share or kind of what you do behind the scenes? Is there anything else popping for you that you'd like? people to hear or know or understand well what i've realized for myself i don't know if this is true for you lara but for me i feel like sometimes i'm like super excited to step into this next level and i am partly but i feel like what drains my energy the most and what i feel holds me back the most is the going back and forth like mm -hmm. stepping into it and then go oh wait a minute i want to keep some of the past and then i go back and forth instead of either being there and fully embracing it and doing what it takes and also taking advice from people who know certain things better than I do uh, or going back and, and waiting for the right time. But like the going back and forth I find can be really, really frustrating. So I think at some point making a really conscious choice and then sticking with that as much as possible because I find that much more painful and usually longer the going back and forth instead of like taking our time, sitting in it, like continuing the journey rather than like getting off the boat and then swimming back again and doing that like a million times. So that's another thing that I would, yeah, suggest also to me. <laughs> yes, yes. And sometimes that's easier said than done, right? But it is, that is how change happens when we get aligned, focused, clear, Right. It drains a lot of energy going in and out and up and down and all around the houses and back again, just to finally go, all right, I'm doing this. <laughs> this is <Yeah>. everything. <laughs> and how about you? Like what have been your, do you have like a moment or one thing that, that shifted everything for you? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a practice is very simple, but of course it's been, you know, it's a work in progress, isn't it? Yeah. It's a work in progress, but similar to you i mean i i create breathing room for what wants to come in because how i experience it and i see it in my clients and also myself is that there's a seed of consciousness i'm not going to say exactly where it comes from but there's a wisdom that knows what your next level is for me most of my work is getting out of the way and surrendering as you're saying but that is easier said than done, right? Because there is a death of the old. There is a letting go of a version of yourself, right? That got you to where you are now that you probably get a lot from as well. Like for me, it was healer Lara. Like mm -hmm. when I identified as a, a, just a healer and it was very much kind of like where I was giving to everyone else, but not myself. And it was very much about selfless service that had nothing to do with me receiving and it was very but it was very wounded it came from you know and Karina's known me for a long time she knows she knows yeah. and uh and that was hard because I got a lot out of that so it's sort of like this grieving I've realized that stepping into the next level also we need to have space for the grief and the loss of what that means and also thanking that part so for me it's space right to connect into the vision but also in that space to just actually when we can breathe into the moment and relax 
this all happens, I find relatively smoothly and organically. It's just the fight, isn't it? It's the conflict of where we go into contraction. And I would say the truth is I'm all, I'm in a fight with my purpose, like every day I've realized like really probably all the time. So it's like a moment to moment witnessing, recognizing. So for me, if there's feelings like anxiety or overwhelm or if I go into stress or if I go into mental confusion or I go into sort of make anytime I'm like this feels hard I know I've contracted yeah. anytime I'm like this feels really hard and it doesn't mean that growing a business you know obviously there's hard and difficult things to deal with but that vision knows exactly the pathway through um, mm -hmm. and I just need to get get the f out of the way <laughs> and like yeah. stop fighting it and just listen yeah. So for me, it's about really, it sounds so simple, but it's about creating some space to relax, to rest, to, re to recuperate, to connect, and then space to listen, right? Of what is that next level? And then space to freak out <laughs> and yeah. then relax, you know, to be like actually just checking in. So for me, I'm always like just really just doing like inner check-ins and um, just to witness where the, if I go into tension, right? If I go into fighting it, if I go into sort of, resisting against which i'm always i've realized i'm always actually in resistance to my purpose um mm -hmm. but it's also very strong so that vision is also very strong at the same time so there's like two aspects so my my practice is to always listen to the vision mm -hmm. always listen to that inner guidance to follow it trust it and sometimes it takes me time to get on board mm -hmm. so i'll put things on my vision board or i'll put things somewhere and be like I get that that's where I'm supposed to go. Yeah. <laughs> I am not ready, as you were saying, just to choose it um, yet. And I'll hold it and I'll vision it and I'll give it space and I'll listen to it. And then I'll keep doing that inner work of releasing, releasing what, what part of myself or what do I need to let go of to welcome this in? What part of myself do I need to develop to welcome this vision in? So it's also about connecting to aspects of myself that I need to embrace. Mm uh embody and 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 yeah welcome that in so it's sort of like you're saying it's through the body it's actually coming in through the body and, and integrating it and then actually i find from that the action is relatively straightforward you know can take once i'm in total alignment it's like the action is like oh it kind of just falls into place in a sense so mm. yeah that's my behind the scenes but i i, I would like my thing would be to say that you know, I think there's a lot of BS in terms of thinking it's going to be perfect. And it's like, you're going to arrive to the Holy Land where yeah. there are no longer any problems. And the butterflies, yeah. like, it's like this sort of perfectionism and it's, yeah. it's delusional. And I would say that I have been in that because you get the vision and it looks so great and it looks yeah. so beautiful. It's, everything's perfect. Mm -hmm. So if everything's not feeling perfect, then something must be wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. And I finally got, oh yeah, like there is going to be challenges. There's going to be issues. Um, but it doesn't mean that, that, that you're, you know, it's just about having that res strength and resilience to keep going through the challenges as they arise and understanding that that next level is beautiful and amazing. It's going to grow you and evolve you. And it's amazing. Yeah. And I call it new level, new devil. Like there's going to be challenges. There's going to be problems. There's going to be new, things that you don't know that you need to learn and figure out. And so for me, because I, I say I'm a recovering perfectionist, because my perfectionist self has really, really held me back in a lot of ways. And I see that a lot. We're like, well, it looks like, you know, it's all perfect for that person. Why am I a total failure? <laughs> Why yeah. am I not like, it's like, no, because it is challenging. Like human beings struggle. We struggle. It's hard. But we can I do think there is always this place of ease and flow where we can make things, we can find ease and flow even in the challenge. And it doesn't mean it's easy, but so for me, I'm like, where's the flow? Where's the flow? Where's the current? Hmm. And in trying my best to kind of surrender into the flow. And that's when it feels like, oh my God, everything's just magically appearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the shit ton of inner work you did before getting into the flow. Cause like you said, once you're in alignment, it flows and it feels so easy and things are just coming with so much ease, but that's because we did the nitty gritty inner work, like 
uh, crying in a ball for like sometimes months and <laughs> then we're in the flow right and things are happening but yeah. all of that is the work isn't it it's not just the shiny stuff that we see online after right because that's yeah. just the that's like the cherry on the top when you start to really reap the the benefits of what you've sown but exactly. all of that is pretty messy right exactly and i think that like is a really important thing to to know that you're not a yeah. failure you know if you're struggling if you're in a mess like you know we both work with business owners like we know behind the scenes but it's just about kind of you know if, if, i think people go into comparisonitis or they're not good enough or, you know all that negative self-talk that's part of the work isn't it is to kind of yeah. release to witness and release witness and release and keep coming back into connection well this is amazing obviously we could talk about this for hours and days and weeks and years <laughs> but um you've got something kind of special to help people right step into their next level so would you mind taking a minute to share your lovely invitation? I'd love that. Thank you, Lara. And I hope everyone got a lot out of this conversation and that it sparked like ideas or made you feel like you're not alone. Um, so yeah, I'm um, I'm doing my second round of the, my next level program this fall. And so I've created this free training that starts on Monday, September 12th. Uh, the Facebook group is already open because I love creating communities and the most amazing women always sign up. And I feel like that's part of the next level journey. It's not just to receive you know, the tools that I share and the guided meditations and the energy work we do live um, or in recordings next week, but also that sense of community and sharing the journey and hearing our stories through other people as well. And I feel like as women, we really love gathering and we love supporting each other. And I think that's such a, an important part of this journey. So um, yeah, so in my next level training, I'll be sharing that energy processes to help clear and release the old stories and our old selves, and then practices to really step into this next level vibration and to let it carry you. Because I feel like when we really step into it, we don't have to use so much of our own energy because we're being carried and supported. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll be exploring things like, you know, how do you bring in the next level support for your business, um, structures and systems and all those things that I didn't particularly like for a long time. And now I realize how important it is to actually grow our businesses. Uh, next level self-care, uh, next level um, strategy. Like there's so many aspects to that. So I'll be sharing um, snippets of that next week. And it's usually really beautiful and powerful. And you'll be surrounded by amazing women who are on a similar journey. So because I think it's super important to find our people and because we are like generous and kind and we want to make the world a better place, maybe now even more than ever, it's so important, important I feel to bring that aspect into our businesses. So the one, two, three thing to like crush it is probably not gonna work for us. So I'll be sharing a lot about that too. And we'll talk about things like impact and money and other resources as well to really well help all the women who sign up to go on this journey and receive all that support so yeah it starts next week september 12th and it's a free event is that correct yes it's free and i'll be doing three probably more uh live calls on zoom and there will be recordings if um if you can't join live um and then i'll share i read what i love doing is having like a structure for certain things you know like clearing things from the past and letting go of our old selves, stepping into the new vibration, bringing in the support, but to also really listen to the group. Uh, Cause I feel like there are always things coming out to the surface that we're all struggling with, right? Or we all need in that moment. And because the world changes so much, I really love to listen to the group and to really meet everyone where they're at. Yeah. So I guess it's like an intuitive kind of um, practice as well. Mm, that's gorgeous so yeah click on the link within our video within this um conversation and sign up to karina's free event and connect with beautiful business owners just like you and help you to step into your next level it's absolutely gorgeous and i think what as you said it's so important like to 
you know, you can sometimes feel very lonely or alone on this path and to re like lean in into connection is just so, so much gold and worth so much. So come in and network and connect and feel well supported as you, as you go and you grow into your next level. Beautiful. Thank you so very much, Karina. Um, I mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed today's conversation. We'd love to hear what are your golden nuggets from today's conversation? What is your, like, what kind of pinged for you what did you get what were your takeaways please share in the comments below and we can create a little conversation with this conversation um and uh, yeah support each other on this on this beautiful journey <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you so much laura and thank you to everyone watching so do let us know if you have any questions um send us a message or a comment below as well gorgeous thanks so much for joining and we'll see you soon take care